everyone, and welcome back to the Real World Let's Play. So, last time we started on a new character and got a fair bit done, actually. I don't know why I'm standing out here. No clue. I have a lot of smoked pikes, though. Should probably drop some of those. Like, 17 of them, at least. These black currant bush. Um, helps with fevers and such. It's not bad to have around. So I don't remember what I was actually planning on doing. My upload schedule is still a bit weird, and if my mic keeps acting up, it might be even weirder soon. Because I've tried to edit it out, but there's been static on my mic every episode so far since, um, probably since the new year. I'm not sure what caused it, but it's rather annoying. So I don't remember what my plans for this video were. I don't remember if I had plans for this video. Basically, I don't remember anything. I have some footwear, though. Which I don't think I need. I'm already wearing shoes. Well, footwear. Now I want to gather some... Sorry, um, now I want to make, I think, a few spears. There's the word I'm thinking of, spear. Bumper, staff, ten. <laughs> well, javelins, more apt, but... Yeah, they're basically spears. Should have rested off that fatigue first. Alright, didn't go too poorly. Rest off the fatigue this time, though. Make weapon, javelin, axe, and I'll use the rough staff as well. So, this is just to give us a more expendable weapon. And honestly, spears are probably easier to use. Like, you don't miss as often with a spear as you do with a bow. But they don't have the range. Alright, so, not bad. Be a good chunk of that pike, and take a nap. So Spear isn't our best melee skill, but the only one that's better is Dagger. So Spear it is. Should probably make Wrath too. But I'm thinking this episode I want to kill something, basically. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like murdering something. Not in real life, of course, in, in the game. Never murder something in real life. Don't murder things. But, yeah, in the game, whatever. It's not like it's real. Actually, we should set up some traps, too. But Not really feeling like doing that right now. Looks like we aren't finding anything. So 
It's a very dense forest. There's an open mire. It's not bad. Doesn't look like there's anything here, but it's good to know that it's here. It's our trapping. 42, it's not terrible. Let's head back in the direction of camp. An ermine? Sure. We can try to kill an ermine. See us? No. Yeah. Something I do a lot is sneak just a little bit too close. Should have taken the shot when I had it. Ooh. You are interesting to me. Not really close to home though, are you? Well. Take that off. Field. Hunting bow in one hand, arrows in the other. This may end poorly, or we may find ourselves very well fed for a little while. Alright, it noticed us, but it's not escaping. Take one more shot at it, I think. Dodge. Bow, dodge, wield the spear, dodge. How injured are we? Not at all, apparently. No, not edge. Dodge, I didn't mean to move. Point, head. Dodge, point, head. Uh, body. Point body. Dodge. Point body. Dodge. Point head. Slot hit to its thorax. Dodge. How's it looking? limping, minor puncture in its hip, serious puncture in its thorax, seri serious puncture in its elbow, and a second minor puncture in its thorax. So it's a bit of a mess. Not edge. Point to Let's try the head again. No, you don't. Okay, well, maybe you do, but I'm gonna keep chasing you. You're way too injured for me to give up on you now. Plus, I think you have some of my arrows. Where'd you go? Come on. There you are. Did you turn back on yourself? Why did I not see you walking back? Alright, well. I'm going to wield the bow again and the arrows since when we find it we're probably going to have another range shot on it. Okay, 
Oh, chili sauce. Weapon, dodge, ooh. Can we stand? Uh, is it E W? Alright, we got bit in the eye. Bleeding a little bit, but not terribly so. Stop bleeding. I don't see him anywhere. It's kind of annoying. Well, I guess he had time to get away. To the woods. It's not ideal, really. But he's injured at least, so we might be able to find him. I know I'm losing a lot of arrows and stuff by following him this far. Just wield the javelin for now. Because I would rather take these pot shots with the javelin. You miss. He was on his fucking ass. Okay, well, we're really injured actually, so it makes sense that we would miss. Are you bleeding at all? Previously wounded small bear. And it's probably full of puncture holes, so its hide is going to be terrible. and dodge. It's not escaping very quickly, which is nice. I'm just sort of jabbing in its general direction at this point, hoping that this happens. No, stab at the skull a few times. Okay, cool. Pick up our stuff. Had a javelin stuck in him. That could have gone better, but all in all, it wasn't our worst bear encounter. I mean, we didn't die. Somehow we got a fine skin off of him, despite filling him with more holes than your average block of Swiss cheese. I'm not going to complain about it. He was full of a lot of holes, though. 
Oh, I think we must have hit him at least a dozen times. Right, can we walk without fatigue? Yes, we can. Let's eat more of that smoked pike. And get out of the open. Where in the woods did he go? I want to backtrack a bit and try to find those arrows and javelins that I launched at his general fairness. I think we followed him through here. Uh, that was weird. A um, couple of errors from my recording. I hope that doesn't signify anything too disastrous for the actual episode. No, but I will drink from this small pool of stagnant water, because that seems like a good idea. At least for the time being. I wonder if there are plans to implement, like, sickness from stagnant water. I wouldn't be surprised if there were. So is this where the bear doubled back on itself? Yeah, I'm not seeing old prints anywhere, so I think it's back this way that we first encountered it. Just trying to find some of my arrows and javelins. Yeah, here is where it doubled back on itself. Is there any arrows over here? No. So it came in from over here? Yeah. This isn't something I do often, but because this character is fairly young, well, just starting out, I'm spending more time finding arrows than I normally would. Plus, we need to do something to pass the time while we're injured. Hey, there's that hare. We don't need you, we just killed a bear. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but I'm happy it did. I've been doing that a lot today. I made a really bad pun about global warming accidentally earlier. Um, the context of that was that uh, apparently because of global warming there's actually a war zone from World War One that was frozen over that is now melting. <laughs> so a bunch of like soldiers who were preserved in the ice in nearly perfect condition have been unearthed. Which is Kind of scary, actually, but I made a joke about how raising a literal army of the dead is the coolest thing that global warming has ever done, and somebody freaked out about the pun, coolest thing global warming has done, and I didn't even like think of it at the time, but in retrospect, I'm pretty happy with it. I can talk to you. Uh, please do heal me. And I would like to pay my debt. Pleasantly close. Okay, so. The deal. I'm doing this because we don't have a smokehouse set up, so it's a lot easier to trade for preserved food than to actually make it right now. <clears throat> Somebody sleeping in there. What kind of axe do we have? We have a hand axe. Placement's axe will be nice, I think. I'll see if I can get it. How much? 
close is that? Halfway. If I could type. Okay. And that's everything, right? I have some bear cuts still, but we can cook those. Back on. And we can just follow the river back home, which is nice and convenient. And a big part of why I tend to live near rivers, because I get lost easily. And coming way back home, <coughs> that's easy to follow like this, is really useful for me. Even if it drops us off in a weird location that's not quite at our house. And drop all that preserved food off. to drop off all of the preserved food, not just most of it. <coughs> Let's start working on the side a little bit. And we're probably going to pass out and end up on a weird sleep schedule, but I'm not too concerned about it. So we have quite a bit of food in a bear. So, we're in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, has anybody else had this issue with YouTube lately where... Sorry. This issue with YouTube lately where... The um, subscription box won't scroll back any farther than like 30 something videos. Like, it won't even give me the load more button so I can see older videos. And I, on this channel, I'm not subscribed to a lot of people, but on my old channel, which doesn't have videos up and I'm not linking to, I'm subscribed to over 100 people. So it's actually kind of a problem when I can't scroll back. Because it's not uncommon for me to get more videos added to my list of videos from people I'm subscribed to then will fit on a single page in the subscription box. Let's go try out this new axe, see how it does. And while I have it in mind, drop these two. Oh, actually I should make some bandages. It's a fracture bruise and a bite. I should bandage the bite at least. Hmm. And take off our cloak actually. Kill the bandages five. Let's just make two of them. Just that stag fur and some of the cloak. <coughs> and one thing you can do that I never showed off is you can actually make bandage. No, make you five. One, and it takes one pound of cloth, and. You can actually like use a bandage to make more bandages, and it's kind of odd. I don't usually do that. It seems like an exploit. At least you could in previous versions. I haven't tested it on this one. But, okay, that would require a splint. Let's, uh, let's 
cleaning, cleaning the wound actually has a chance of causing it to bleed again. <coughs> which is kind of dangerous. But it worked out. You can dress the wound with a bandage. These are still not good, not um, ready for harvesting. So what does this plant require exactly? Compress, no, it's just a bruise. Branches and bandage does. So are there any trees around that have branches? Not really. These are all spruce trees. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So we'd have to go a bit out of our way for that, and I don't think it's really worth it. <coughs> Unless I only need one. Yeah, apparently I only need one. So, that's cool. And that'll help it heal just a little bit faster. Well, I guess since we're injured, there's not really too much we can do. I do want to test out this axe, though. But yeah, I've been having a lot of trouble with YouTube lately, especially since the Google Plus um, change. I was going to call it a fix, but it's not really fixing anything. If anything, it's caused more problems for me. <coughs> But yeah, I've been having a lot of issues with YouTube lately. It's to the point now where if I had a better option, I would honestly just leave YouTube entirely and work with some other video hosting website. But it's not really as attractive an option as I would like it to be, considering no other hosting web websites around really do anything. Like, Vimeo doesn't like uh, gaming videos. I know somebody on the Unreal forums has an LP of it on Vimeo, but if I want to do other games, they would probably not be too kind about it. So I would rather not have to risk losing my channel. And here, I don't plan on doing any AAA games, really. Like, I don't play AAA games. <laughs> Sorry my voice is changing a lot this episode. It's uh, not really expected. I said it's been fine all day, but now that I'm you know, sort of required to speak, it's suddenly not. Which is often the case, to be honest. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to settle down a little bit with this character, which is why I'm bothering to cut down these trees. I'm eventually going to make a small shelter. Yeah, being injured is kind of annoying because you keep having to rest when you're working on things. It's not too bad though. It's manageable at least. Uh, make a bowl, actually. And that's mostly because I want something to carry water in when I'm wandering around. So yeah, rough wind bowl. It's not very good, but... It'll manage. Which is what I really care about. Let's take a nap. So yeah, these wounds, you'll notice that the treated bar that was there is gone. You can only treat a wound once a day. 
and you don't have to treat it every day. If it's healing fine, then you probably don't need to bother. But for serious wounds, it's usually worth treating them. Just to get the injury down. It's slow enough now that I'm not too worried about it. But it's nice I got to show off how to treat wounds at least. You basically just use your physician skill and whatever resources you have to help treat them. It's not that complicated. Alright, so we have a fine bear hide. It's not bad. I was expecting it to be, like, ragged beyond use after how many times we stabbed the poor thing. But it's nice to see it was more durable than I gave it credit for. I want to go trade it now, though, for something. Probably just more hides, but lower quality ones, because there's no reason to actually use high quality fur for anything, except cord, maybe. So, let's see what they have. So, high quality fur is generally best traded. At least my experience. Gluttons are what? I want to say they're like wolverines? Something like that. Get a net. So I haven't gotten another ritual. That's weird. So I'm sure we got that axe. This town doesn't look like it has too much of interest for me anymore. Trident. I don't think I really care about that. I'm not going to be, you know, ruling the sea anytime soon. So I don't think I will be. Pretty sure that's not part of the game. I'm actually kind of happy that's not part of the game. Let's try the next town. But this is the kind of area you usually like to sell in. We're far enough away from the town, our houses anyway, that, we, that it is a trip, like a decently long trip to come here, but not so far away as to make it annoying to travel all the way in. Oxfur, a net, a bunch of food. There's some knives there, but I don't really think I care about knives right now. Barley flour. We had barley grains, maybe. Another woodsman's axe. I'm not too worried about. There's more buildings up here. Fine wide trident. Yeah. yeah, these villages aren't really like wealthy, but yeah. it's a good place to get food, especially early on when you can't preserve food. Trading your like raw and processed meat for Preserved food is a good way to survive and build up a stockpile. Let's just take a nap in their village. I'm sure they won't mind. They usually don't. Hello, person who is just sort of standing out here awkwardly watching me sleep. You're not creepy at all. This is the person who was just sleeping on the ground outside a village. 
And so maybe I shouldn't be judging who's creepy in this situation. It's a normal bear fur. She could probably trade for like that and a bunch of food. I think my keyboard is starting to <coughs> miss inputs. Right you, trout. Carving axe would be nice, actually. I think I'll pick that up. Yes, yes, I know. Is there a fishing rod here? Whatever, I'll see if I can get that too. Um, I would like to pay my debt. Uh, never mind. So we can still get more for it. That's good. I think it actually hurts your reputation to back out of trades like that. But I'm more concerned with just getting a good deal for this stuff. I guess I'll see if I can get the trout too. Couldn't hurt, right? Sir. Do you have anything interesting? Not really. Some arrows. Okay. Can still get more. Interesting. Asshole. That is really obnoxious <laughs> that they keep like closing doors in my face like that. <clears throat> well, not in my face, I was walking backwards to get out of the house, but slamming a door on my ass, basically. We can get so much for. I thought a fishing rod would be more expensive than it apparently is. Not that I'm complaining. So it looks like we're running out of things to trade for. I don't want roasted food, it's just gonna go bad. Some more buildings up here that I already looked at, I'm pretty sure, but I'll check them again. More dried food. Knife, I don't really care about. So let's see how we do now. Um. You know what? Fine. I know I wasted a little bit of value on that, but we pretty much cleared out this town. Like, they had some furs left, but nothing I'm too particularly interested in. Uh, while we're here, let's talk to the sage. I know he didn't learn any ritual, but I want to have him treat our injuries while we're in the area. Age, where are you? Normally they hang around the meeting areas and the spas. Have I never been in this? 
building. It's a fine short bow, so it's not really that great. Um, flower. Flower. I'd rather have grains. Because those I can plant if I ever decide to pick up farming. So they're just more like generally versatile than the standing on punt and a paddle. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. So is this a village without a sage? I guess, I haven't seen one. They have dogs out, which is good to keep in mind. Yeah, I don't see a sage. If I need a dog, I can come here. So is it you that had the sage? I think so. This episode's going a bit long, but again, I don't really mind going long in episodes if I can't record as reliably as I would like. Uh, hello, you see Ome. Uh, I am Jen. Who are you? Okay, goodbye. No, I don't step in the water, but drink from it. Are you following me? It's kind of creepy. So, yeah, I don't know why, I thought um, having the sage treat your wounds was supposed to fill these out, like the treated bar for that wound for the day, but apparently it doesn't. I thought it was supposed to though. Maybe it did that in an earlier version and I'm just remember, or I'm just remembering something incorrectly. Couldn't tell you. We got plenty of food now. Let's make some of this roasted bear. Why did I try to tan something? It's not what I meant to do at all. And if we try out this fishing rod. Also, it recently occurred to me that I don't think these are actually rapids. We're at a ford, which means this is probably shallow water. So, it looks like shallow water at least. But yeah, you can see where it gets deeper over here, where it, um, the deeper it is, the darker it is generally. So, I think I messed that up. I'm not too concerned about it, but it's kind of annoying. What is our fishing skill even? It's not terrible. Let's uh, try again. So I'll drop that for now. Get our bear cuts. And go sleep early. Hopefully those bear cuts are still good. Um, roast bear. Okay, looks like it. So I'm going to cut it here, and I might do some work on the house off screen if I feel like it. I'm not sure. I'll see you next time though, guys. Bye!